we are afraid of talking um, about uh, religious issues ayodhya dispute was the same but isn't it unfair with the 150 crore of hindus 100 ka- around 100 crore in india and 50 crore out of india that their religious site was not recognized by people of their own country even they were not on paper it, they were not sure if ram lord ram born here in ayodhya the ayodhya dispute is or was a political historical and socio religious debate in india centered on a plot of the land in the city of ayodhya uttar pradesh the issue revolved around the control of the site traditionally regarded among the hindus to be the birthplace of hindu deity rama the history and location of babri masjid at the site and whether a previous hindu temple was demolished or modified to create the mosque there were mainly three incidents if we talk about history we go back to around 5500 uh, sorry 5000 years back but <clears throat> let's talk about 19th 19th century only the babri masjid was destroyed during a political rally which turned into a riot on 6 december 1992 a subsequent land title was lost in the allahabad high court the verdict verdict of which was pronounced on 30 september 2010 in the judgment the three judges of the allahabad high court ruled that 2.77 crore acre of land should be divided in three parts one goes to ramlala which was represented by hindu mahasabha another one goes to sunni waqf board and the third part goes to nirmoy akhada the judgment affirmed affirmed that the disputed land was the birthplace of rama as per the faith and belief of hindus and that the babri masjid was built after the demolition of a hindu temple noting that it wasn't built in accordance with the tenets of islam the problem here was nobody first of all nobody was expecting or the opposite parties were not accept expect, accepting that the ram lord ram was born in ayodhya and it was really hard to prove even after having some uh, written sculptures like ramayana or other uh, hindu vedas which clearly says at the bank of saryu there was ayodhya but nobody was accepting it then archaeological archaeology archaeological survey of india asi confirmed that it was birthplace of rama but it all happened during the uh, supreme court uh, title uh, dispute cases heard during Uh, August to two, no, October 2019. Before that, uh, the land was divided in three, three parts. Now, during this these hearings, Supreme Court has decided that land to be handed over to a trust to build the Hindu temple, which should have been uh, done years before, centuries before. But. it took some time it happens it also ordered to the government to al- alternate give alternate 5 acres land to sunni waqf board waqf board to build the mosque now let's talk about uh, religious background and historical background first the religious background the land on which the medieval most babri masjid is stood is traditionally considered by the hindus to be the birthplace of hindu deity rama and at the core of ayodhya dispute it is at the core of ayodhya dispute ram janmabhoomi rama is one of the most widely worshiped hindu deity 
and is considered the seventh incarnation of God Vishnu. According to Ramayana, Rama was born in Ayodhya to Queen Kausalya and King Dasratha. According to Garud Puran, a Hindu religious text, Ayodhya is one of the seven sites where Moksha, a final release from cycle of death and rebirth, may be obtained. Now Babri Masjid, Mosque of Babar. Babar was the first Mughal emperor of India and the founder of Mughal Empire. It is believed that one of his uh, generals, Mir Baki, built the Babri Masjid in 1528 on his orders. The belief came into currency since uh, 1813 to 14 when the East India Company surveyor Francis uh, Bushnan reported that he found an inscription on the mosque walls which attested to the to this fact. He also recorded the local tradition which believed that Emperor Aurangzeb 1658-1707 built the mosque after demolishing a temple dedicated to Rama. Between 1528 and 1668, no text mentioned the presence of mosque at the site, but Hindus and Muslims are said to have worshipped at the mosque or temple Muslims inside the mosque and Hindus outside the mosque but inside the compound after the British took over the state they put up a railing between the two areas to prevent disputes. In 1949 after India's independence an idol of Ram was placed inside the mosque which triggered the dispute. Now let's talk about historical background. The first which comes in mind is Gupta period. In the Gupta's time 600 BC, the present day, Ayodhya was called Saketa and it was one of the sixth largest city in North India. During the Gupta time, either Kumara Gupta or Skandu Gupta made it their capital after which they came it to be called it came to be called Ayodhya. Kalidasa who wrote Ramayana, Ram Charitamanas, here and referred to Gupta Ghat, where Rama was believed to have entered the waters of Saryu in his ascent to heaven. According to a local tradition recorded by Francis Fletch Nanan and Alexander Cunningham, Ayuda became desolate after Rama's ascent to heaven and Vikramaditya revived it. Now Gadawala's period. After Gupta, the, Gupta, the capital of North India moved to Kannons and Ayodhya fell into relative neglect. It was revived by Gadawala's coming to power in 11th century AD. Then Mughal period. In modern times, a mosque was located at the support supposed birth spot of Rama, which sat on a large mound in the center of Ayodhya called the Rama Durga or Ramakot, Fort of Rama. The mosque bore an inscription stating that it was built in 1528 AD by Mir Baki on the orders of power. Now comes late Mughal period. The granddaughter of Aurangzeb or her daughter of Bahadur Shah Bahadur Shahi uh, has written in her book it mentioned mosque having been constructed after demolishing the temples of idolatrous Hindu situated at Mathura, Banarat and other etc. Hindus are said to have called these demolished temple in our Sita Rasoi, Sita's kitchen and Hanuman's abode. While there was no mention of Babur in the account, in this account, the Ayodhya mosque had been juxtaposed with those built by Aurangzeb at Mathura and Banaras. Then 
beginning of, now let's talk about the beginning of the dispute the first recorded instances of religious violence in ayodhya occurred in 1850s over a nearby mosque at anuman gari the babri mosque was attacked by hindus in the process since then local hindu groups made occasional demands that they should have the possession of the site and they should be allowed to build a temple on the site all of which were denied by the colonial government in 1946 and a offshoot of hindu mahasabha called akhil bharatiya ramayana mahasabha started an agitation for possession of the site in 1949 from Digvijayanath Gorakh uh, Goraknath Math joined the ABRM and organized a 9 day continuous recitation of Rama Charitamanas at the end of which the Hindu activists broke into the mosque and placed idols of Rama and Sita inside people were led to believe that the idols had miraculously appeared inside the mosque the date of event was 22nd december 1949 but jawaharlal nehru insisted that the idols should be removed the idols should be removed however the local official kkk nayar known for his hindu nationalist connections refused to carry out the orders claiming that it would lead to communal rights however the idols remained inside and priests were allowed to entry to perform daily worship so the mosque had been converted into a de facto temple both the sunni waqf board and abrm filed civil suits in the local court stating their respective claims to the site the land was declared to be under dispute and the gate remained locked so after all these incidents <coughs> in uh, 1992 the vishwa hindu parishad and its associates including bjp organized a rally involving 150000 vishwa hindu parishad and bjp car sevaks at the site of mosque the ceremonies included speeches by the bjp leaders such as uh, lal krishna anwani murli manohar joshi and uma bharti then they demolished the so called babri masjid and that converted into the big right after and now in 9th uh, in the decision of 9th november 2019 supreme court gave the land to the to build the ram mandir but is it the end of this dispute because it was really focus the issue was really in mainstream politics both uh, bjp and other parties for focusing on this issue and uh, winning elections over it but if this issue is over will it be the same for them they will need some new issues or uh, i doubt if this dispute is still over because other parties will uh, agitate against it So let's see let's hope it works out and till then enjoy the day